Hello guys, my name is Srinidhi. I've been working with An Academy for a few months now. I teach English on that platform. You guys can download the An Academy Learning app and watch the English lessons or whatever you want to learn from that app. So in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you guys how to change a sentence, which is an active voice to passive voice, but the sentence is going to be in present perfect tense. So under this lesson, we will learn how to transform a sentence, which is affirmative in nature, interrogative in nature, and also negative sentences, from active voice to passive voice. I hope this uh, video helps you guys. Thank you. Hello guys, welcome to today's lesson. My name is Srinidhi. So as you all know, this course is all about active and passive voice. So we're learning how to make a sentence which is in simple present into passive voice. So this, uh, so the first two lessons were about simple present, present continuous. So as I promised you, this lesson is about present perfect. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, if you guys have forgotten how to make a, I mean, how to form a sentence in the simple perfect form, I mean, present perfect form, uh, here's a quick revision. So if you guys want a detailed explanation about present perfect tense, I suggest you guys go back and watch my other videos in which I've explained clearly about all the tenses, okay? So uh, for a simple, I'm sorry, for a present perfect tense, you start off with a subject plus the perfect word that is either has or have, depending on the subject, plus the verb, the verb must be in the past participle form, plus the object, okay? If the verb is not in the past participle form, then your entire sentence is incorrect, okay? For example, I've already eaten my lunch. Eat is the verb, whereas the past tense of eat is ate, whereas the past participle form of eat is eaten. So, I have, have is a perfect word to form a perfect uh, tense that is present perfect tense here so it is have so I have already eaten my lunch lunch is the object moving ahead see the next example she has finished her work so this is an active voice because the subject is in the beginning it is followed by the verb and ends with an object so uh, when these things happen so it is in the oh, I'm sorry so when the subject is in the beginning you know it is the um, active voice so the object is at the end in order to put a sentence in the passive voice you will put the object in the beginning so her work so subject goes at the end she turns into her okay now we'll have to do with the verb so has finished so one good thing about the present perfect tense is that when you put it in passive voice you don't have to worry about the past participle because the past participle is already in the active voice so all you have to do is introduce a word a word been so it will be placed between has and the past participle of the verb okay so her work has been finished by her she finished her i'm sorry she has finished her work her work has been finished by her so always remember the key words that you'll have to use uh, while reporting a sentence while reporting an active voice in passive voice uh, based on this uh, tenses because it is very important for you to follow the rules otherwise it's going to be it's okay to make mistakes when you're talking because people don't pay much attention to the grammar they they listen to what you have to say whereas when you write it it makes a huge impact because that shows your basic uh, level of grammar okay when you go wrong in basics uh, the impression itself is destroyed it's like that okay so her work has been finished by her so here been is the word that is very important in this uh, passive voice okay so subject is she that turns into her and then verb is finish finished is a past participle form finished is the past tense also of the verb it does not change there are a few words which does not change the past tense in the past tense or in the past participle form so if you guys are wondering what are the list of verbs just go back and watch my other videos of tenses you will get to see a table in that okay so object is work you can never modify an object okay is that clear let's move on another example he has thrown his books all over the place okay here he is the subject what has he thrown he's thrown the books so books is the object Okay, so object comes in the beginning, his books. Oh, oh. sorry. So, okay, his books in the beginning and then he changes to him that goes here in the end. So, has books, since the books are plural, we use have, not has. Okay, his books have been thrown by him all over the place. If you realize, we've pa placed been 
between have and thrown okay his books have been thrown all over the place by him or his books have been thrown by him all over the place okay either ways it's correct okay and pay attention to the verb throw throw past tense is through past participle is thrown okay subject he turns into uh, uh oh uh, I'm sorry, it turns into him, I've written has, okay, I don't know for what. Uh, this is incorrect. It is he changes to him. Throw, past participle form is thrown, object is book. Okay, let's move on. So, this is another table. I've been showing this to you since the first lesson. Do remember, because the subjects in the active voice changes, uh, changes completely in the passive voice. The meaning does not change, only the structure changes. But the subject if in the active voice it is I, in passive voice it becomes me. You remains the same. She turns to her, he turns to him. We changes to us and they change to them. As I've been telling you all, please do make your own sentences because it helps a lot in remembering. And don't forget to post it in the comment section so that we can have a look together. Okay? Moving ahead. So, uh, we finished the affirmative form. Now we're going to do the negative form. She has not finished her homework. So, pay attention as to where the not is placed. It is placed between has and finished. Okay, so she has not finished her homework. It is active voice because the subject is in the beginning. When you change it to the passive voice, it becomes her. And what has she not finished? Work. So, the object here is work. Okay, so works come in the, work comes in the beginning. So, her work has not been finished by her. We saw been will come in the sentence and it is placed in between has and the past participle of the verb. So since not is also placed, it's always better to place not before been. So see, uh, her work has not been finished by her. Makes more sense. Okay. She has not finished her work. Her work has not been finished by her. Simple as that. Okay. So the subject she changes to her. Finish changes to finish, past participle does not change, object is work. Not is placed between has or have and been. Okay, so it is placed in between these two. So, been is placed in between these two. So, just pay attention. I hope you guys get a hang of it once you start, you know, revising and making your own sentences. That time, maybe you'll be able to, you know, uh, find it less confusing. Okay, that is if you find it confusing, I'm sorry. Now that we finished affirmative form, negative form, let's move on to the interrogative form. Nothing but the question format, okay? She has, she finished her work. It is still the present perfect because, uh, tense because we have has. So the subject is she, verb is finish, object is her work. So uh, we will retain has because work is singular. So has her work been finished by her? She comes in the end that is her, okay? So, it comes here. So, has her work been finished by her? Makes more sense, correct? So, she changes to her. Finish changes to finish. Past participle form and the past tense does not change. Object is the work. We never touch the object. So, has or have remains the same because of the tense. Correct? So, we're using has over here because work is singular. Okay, I'm sorry if I scratched it out for you. Okay, let's move ahead. This one's an exercise. I want you guys to take it in the form of the test if you want to. Pause the video, do the test. The answers are in the following slide, okay? So let's get started. First one. I have bought a book. So this is an active voice because I is in the beginning, that's the subject, and book is at the end, which is the object. So when I change it into passive voice, it becomes a book has been bought by me. Has because book is singular. A book has been bought by me. Moving ahead. She has not eaten her dinner. Active voice because subject is in the beginning. Object is at the end. So, her dinner has not been eaten by her. Okay, not is placed between has and been. So, her dinner has not been eaten by her. Subject comes at the end. Okay, next one. He has not paid the fees. Active voice because subject, he is in the beginning. What did he not pay? Fees which is at the end. So, put the object, is, object in the beginning, that is, the fees has not been paid by him. Negative sentence, so pay attention to where to place not. So, the fees has not been paid by him. Okay, moving ahead. 
Now it is a question format. Pay attention. Have they played football? Okay. So here subject is they. Verb is play. And then uh, object is football. Active voice because it's like this. So have. So it is has the football been played by them. We using has because the football is singular. So has the football been played by them? We don't usually put it, we don't usually ask question like this in passive voice, but this is just to make you grammatically strong, okay? Has the football been played by them? Question mark, please retain the question mark, don't forget. Next one, have you brought the leave letter? You, subject, leave letter, object. So, the leave letter. Has the leave letter been brought by you? Has because the leave letter is singular. Has the leave letter been brought by you? Question mark, okay? Last one. We have cleaned the house. Subject we, object house. The house has been cleaned by us. Pay attention. I'm saying the house has because house is singular. Okay. Pay attention as to for what you wrote. I mean, which, which is the word in accordance to which you're writing has or have. Okay. So the house has been cleaned by us. We changes to us. Okay. So here's a slide that contains all the answers. If you guys have any doubt, please do let me know in the comment section. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next lesson in which uh, we will learn about simple past tense. Not how to make sentences in simple past. Rather, how to uh, make a sentence it, which is in simple past but in active voice into passive voice. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye.